And when a man be cheating, you can catch him because they get himself away. Men, men just, I don't understand. Men just always get himself away just by doing dumb stuff. But a woman, them things is slick. When women cheat, that is not true. They are usually checked out of their marriage. You make a conscious choice when you get married. You make a vow, and that's an honorable thing, and that's where the problem lies. Once you make that vow, you it's not that you can't cheat. It's that you choose to stay faithful and committed. This might uh, be a sign that there's some, some infidelity uh, happening in the background. Your spouse is becoming emotionally distant from you. Welcome back to An African Perspective. And if you ever want to know if a man is cheating, ask him to give you one thing. If he give it to you, he ain't cheating. Ask him for... Oof. I was getting ready to tell you, but I can't. I wanted to, but who I am is conflicting with this dress I got on. I see, cause I'm telling when a man, when we be cheating, we, mm, mm. When a man be cheating, you can catch him, cause they get himself away. Men, men just, I don't understand, men just always get himself away just by doing dumb stuff. But a woman, them things is slick. Personally, I think women cheat more than men. Oh, they done got quiet now. <laughs> and the reason they get away with it is because, you know, they, they never think, the men never think that they want me to cheat on them. But, oh, that's a fool who think that. Never underestimate your opponent. <laughs> them things is slick. I know a woman that was married for 38 years. She was so good she had an affair for 42 and he didn't know it. He died thinking he was the only one. But I found out a way to tell if a woman cheated. If you want to know if a woman is cheating, it's really simple. You're the kind of man that don't do what you're supposed to do. You're always doing something wrong. And she walking around smiling. <laughs> Singing, it ain't cause she happy with Jesus alone. <laughs> Jesus had some help putting that smile on her face. You hear me, Sonny? Pay attention to the voices, they'll lead you in the right direction. Men will talk more about cheating. Women usually keep it to themselves, it's more taboo. But in my private practice and among other therapists, we know that as many women, perhaps more, who knows the exact number of men or women who cheat, but they cheat. It's a human thing. It's a choice people make. Women have more to lose when they choose that. When men choose to cheat, they usually still love their wife very much, 56% of the time. When women cheat, that is not true. They are usually checked out of their marriage. And that's what makes it so vital to be able to open that discussion to women before they make that choice. Because when they make that choice, there's very little chance they will go back. Whereas if men choose to cheat, it's never a wise choice. But usually they can still work on their marriage and make it better and somehow rectify it. Jay-Z sat down with David Letterman and they both opened up about how their marriages survived them cheating on their wives. Take a look. I have a beautiful uh, a wife who was understanding and knew that I'm not the, the worst of what I've done and like did the hard work of going to therapy. The idea that men don't cheat when their wives are the gorgeous is a bunch of lies. If a man's totally. gonna cheat, he's gonna cheat. I know. You make a conscious choice when you get married. You make a vow, and that's an honorable thing, and that's where the problem lies. Once you make that vow, you it's not that you can't cheat. It's that you choose to stay faithful and committed. This might uh, be a sign that there's some, some infidelity uh, happening in the background. Um, your spouse gets aggravated really easily. You know, if your spouse is constantly picking fights with you uh, about seemingly mundane things, that might be a sign that, that something is brewing deep down inside. Um, so if your spouse is making you feel like you, you can't do anything right or, or you just seem like you, you can't do anything to make your spouse um, calmer and more forgiving, 
that could be a sign um, that their mind has been wandering lately, right? Um, and if this is happening to you, it's important to not snap back at your spouse. For now, just keep a cool head and find the right time to, to calmly ask your spouse why they're acting this way. Your spouse is becoming emotionally distant from you. So if your spouse is acting a little quieter, more withdrawn, or, or even depressed and sad, it could be a sign that there's something going on that he or she isn't telling you. Um, your spouse is working longer hours. So if, you're, if your spouse is working beyond their typical work hours, then this might uh, be a sign that there's some, some infidelity uh, happening in the background. Um, if he or she is coming home late and you know and are taking some some strange work trips, this can certainly at, at the times be a big indicator of infidelity. If your spouse wants more space, so if your spouse is you know uncharacteristically asking for more space or, or room to breathe, then you can be sure that something is up. Especially if things haven't always been that way. Uh, if your spouse is asking for more space, then give it to him or her and, and continue monitoring how they're acting. Sooner or later, you'll be able to, to bring the issue up and, uh, with your spouse and attempt to, to get to the bottom of their, their peculiar behavior. But if your spouse is suddenly paying close attention to their appearance, it could be a sign that, that he or she is trying to impress someone else. So for example, if they're buying new clothes, you know, going to the gym, making sure their hair is spot on before they go out, uh, it could be a sign that they're seeing someone that they want to impress. This is especially suspicious if the desire to look good comes along you know, suddenly. So do be on the lookout for that. Um, your spouse is suddenly a stickler for privacy. This should, this should be a pretty obvious one, obviously, um, but it is worth noting that if your, your spouse is suddenly scared about you prying into their life, then that is a huge red flag. So it's, it's important that both partners maintain some level of privacy in a marriage, that's critical. However, if you feel like your spouse is taking it too far, um, then you can be, be confident that they're probably hiding something. So here's my favorite test for that. The next time that you and your partner are together, pick up their phone and say that you need to, to Google something. If they start freaking out, they try to grab your phone back, then you know that, that something is probably up. And the same goes for their computer. You know, any sort of suspicious activity involving their, their electronic devices could definitely be a big clue. And so I look at it as, you know, basically I'm really into helping relationships grow and be healthy. Cheating is one of the choices that really breaks apart a whole family. Men have no more of an excuse than women do. Okay. Men do secrete testosterone, which is more aggressive, it's more focused, and men focus more on sex, but women are as in need to have sex and be loved as men are. Mm. So all of the things we hear contrary to that are myths. Yeah, and I, I once heard somebody said, I believe it was Charlemagne, the God, he made a point and he said, men cheat for ego and women cheat for emo in regards to like men are usually cheating because there's some type of insecurity that he's dealing with that he wants to prove himself and, you know, validate himself using yes. women. And then women usually, if they're not feeling emotional support from their partner, they go ahead and they, they go lead to infidelity. What did you do? I did everything. Like what? I had sex with other girls. I did everything. One time I went to his room and he had someone else in his room and he told me to leave. <laughs> and I went back to my room and I just cry, like the whole night. And then I think I went like a little while without talking to you. And then you said something like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it again. There was kind of a point where things weren't the same. Right. But just like you would always go through my phone or my computer. Yeah, or, I didn't trust you. If you would go to that measure to, I don't, to find whatever, yeah. why, why wouldn't you just leave? It had more to do with me just not being able to commit. Why not? Because I didn't, at the time, I really, I didn't want to. I think just sometimes we're, we're just, we're not on the same page. 
there's nothing that you could have done differently that I think would have prevented it. I think that you did everything that you needed to do to be a good girlfriend. And I was lucky to have someone like you. That's all for the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button and share. Also leave a comment if you have a topic you want us to cover. Until next time, take care.